تخيلنا نرمي نفاياتنا ونعديها تخيل حالنا كذا لبعد سنتين كيف شفت احوالنا ندانيها وكيف شفتنا بعد نقص الاكسجين the most beautiful planet ever. If you remove the nature, then there is no beauty on Earth. The Earth will be like a moon, a barren one. It will shine, but not from inside. You can't forget what you have. This is not your Earth, but this is our Earth. شيء بسيط جدا ان نحن نرد للبيئه ولدوله الامارات ولنفسنا نحن، لان نحن بشر لازم نكون نحن معمرين وليس مخربين في الدوله. When we actually started the Sustainable Schools Initiative in 2009, I was actually wondering how it's all going to go. But four years down the line, the initiative really took off. And then it tells me that once you give a platform to schools and to students, then I don't think there's anything stopping them. It's a journey that has started, and it's well on its way. So when we started this Eco Club Summit, we all had a kind of a visioning, brainstorming kind of a workshop for the future. And we were saying, what is missing from SSI? Many of these teachers are all mixing from the government schools, the private schools. I don't think there is any program anywhere where these kinds of teachers actually mix with each other. It would be brilliant if we can get the students to meet as well. The private school students with the government school students and network and share. That's how this idea of Eco Club Summit was born. It's very rare to have people from Abu Dhabi traveling to Al Ain, traveling to Al Gharbiya, to Medina Zayed. So actually bringing all the school children in one platform is great for kids to understand and learn about various communities across the Emirate and work together to address environmental issues. It's really nice for me now to be able to see future leaders in the environmental field who have enough resources and have enough tools and it's definitely an honor for me as an Emirati but also for me as an employee at the agency to see the role that we play in, in giving these tools to our students. Back in my day these tools were considered too advanced, you know, running workshops and giving presentations and learning leadership skills and, and environmental management and going out there in the field and collecting data and using GIS. All these tools were considered too advanced. They used to introduce them to us but they'd say, oh you'll take them in first year university but now we're looking at primary and high school level students who are using these tools to, to further themselves and to associate themselves with their future careers. I saw this smile on children's face when they were coming. When I heard their presentations, I think it's far, far better than any environment education congresses that I've been to. They're planned, they're organized, they know exactly what they're doing and they're doing it. I can't measure their enthusiasm and their energy, but they've done it. They've really done it. كمان عندنا خلفيات للمسرح قسمنا الفريق كل فريق يشتغل على الخلفيات بحيث تعكس المشهد اللي موجوده فيه الموجوده فيه قصتهم اذا كانت بيئه بحريه او بيئه صحراويه او في حديقه وخلافهم وطبعا اشتغلوا على ان هم يعملوا شخصيه العروسه يعني شخصيه العروسه نفسها او شخصيه البابيت بحيث انها تعكس الشخصيه يبقى ليها الملامح المميزه لكل شخصيه زي ما احنا شايفين السمكه السلحفه الالي... عندنا ايليانت كمان وعندنا الفات مان اللي بياكل كثير وبيعمل ويست كثير في الفود فده مختصر مفيد عن ال... عن الورشه بشكل عام I was very happy to be with the children and I wanted them to realize the importance of how they can use waste in order to make music. We had a great interactive session. I made them hear music, a rock song, and then after the rock song, I made them hear Franz Liszt's Libestrom. I asked them to give me their feelings on a piece of paper. 
And when they heard Libestrop, some of them felt relaxed. Lots of them had beautiful sketches drawn. You could see that classical music was taking them back to nature. So that's when I told them, I said, when nature is good to us, we've got to be good to nature. And you know, that's how I conveyed my message in the music workshop. Well, we went to the music workshop and we saw We're a video perform on stage. And we saw a video about Kelvin Doe and he came here. It's the nation pride beyond your imagination. It's the most wanted DJ. I and I DJ man focus. My creative instinct, we are always present, even as a little kid. And I get involved in innovation since when I was in primary school. And normally after school, I used to go around trash areas, find broken electronic parts, and build stuff on my own. As young people, this is the time that we need to work hard and create the impact that we wanted to see in our community. من كثر ما هم عندهم طاقة وعندهم حماس انتقلت لنا فأحنا الكبار صار عندنا حماس وطاقة وأنا أنتقل من قاعة إلى قاعة أشوف تنوع البروجكتات أو تنوع المشاريع وحماسهم وحبهم للبيئة اليوم والله الأجواء كانت جميلة يعني والحمد لله شرفتنا الأستاذة الدكتورة من الكبيسي والجميع يعني كان حاضر واستفدنا شوية أشياء كان الوضع حماسي يعني ونحن جايين عشان يوم البيئة والمؤتمر البيئي العالمي هذا The children are our future and they are the ones who are, who are going to take the small steps to save the environment and save our world. My students, they were telling me that the moment we go back, we should plan something big, we should go back with a bang. You know, we can use so many other mediums to teach them about, to make them conscious about the environment. We don't have to just give PowerPoints all the time. We don't have to just talk to them all the time. But this is lovely. That's what I'm taking back, new ideas, lots of ideas. And I believe all the students around UAE or maybe all those who watch this, they all will be motivated by this. And all of them would take a very positive effort to change their habits and make the world a better place. It was a great, great two days and it was so much fun with all the kids and the kids' energy seeped into us. It was a great experience just meeting these people, talking to them and just walking in I, I made like five new friends. The best part of today was basically looking at other people's presentations. I thought like our school has done a lot, but looking at other people's presentations, they have done even more than us and like good stuff. It was great to see the passion, the innovation. It was great to be challenged by students and it was great to recognize really the work that we do at the Environment Agency and how it's connected to the future of the Emirates of Abu Dhabi and how we can contribute to national global debate. I keep telling my colleague Russia, is it a dream, is it happening? And he said, hey, it's not a dream, it actually happened.